the bond debt continued to happen, and so that's the 900 grand we continue to pay every year. Well, I think the frustrating part too, though, is um, you know I totally understand the residents saying, hey, we're you know we're 300 thousand dollar homes, we don't want 150 thousand dollar homes in here. But every time there's an issue in that development too, they come to us and say it's our responsibility to fix it, and it's like we're already on the hook as it is as residents and a city paying for the bonds that, you know, weren't met and all oh that stuff. It's, it's a it, tough situation. I'm trying to recall what did we have to fix. Well, I remember the water and the whole the drainage, the drainage issue. issue and all that other stuff and then... Was um, that that one down here? That, that one too, but that's down at, at the Island Lakes. Island Lakes when it all flooded in the back there. The, the advantage to them by getting new residents is, is it lowers their HOA. Because they pay homeowners association right. dues, I don't know if they're monthly or annually. Um, and of course they're paying the entire budget based on 50 homes, as if you're, whatever the number is, is if you, if you doubled that or tripled that, then it would reduce everybody's you know, responsibility and, and allow them you know, the, the capacity to maintain it better. But it still doesn't get us to a point when you start talking about you know, 15, 12 to 1500 square foot homes in a, what we would consider a premier development. It, it's hard to get there. And then when the developer's asking for a, it's called a NAZ, a neighborhood, neighborhood, I don't remember, George, what is the acronym? A neighborhood entitlement zone, yes. I think is what it's called. Yeah. And so the idea is, is it's taxed at a different rate and it, it helps them sell houses, but it doesn't help us. It, and so that's the problem and we have to be And what does that cost for sure? $900,000. It was a 30 year buy. Yeah. So uh, technically it's, if I remember, I mean, I have all the maturity dates, but I'm thinking it's like 37, 38, a long time. The thing is, is if we could just get people to build in there, start building right. adequate yeah. homes, that would alleviate a lot right. of this. And problems. they are. They are. It's right. just slower than yeah, slower. it's slower. I mean, I think last year there were 10 or 12 homes built, and so if you get 10 or 12 this year, you know, you, you'll get there. But and they are starting to build in some of the areas that we didn't think that they would anytime soon. So that's a possibility. New, new construction is up. I mean, the has gone up. And then, well, and if we then look at yeah. you know, down on Dollar Bill by Ellen. I mean, he's just started that. He's got, yeah. what, 15 up? Well, they sold 12 of those 15. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they got 15. Yeah, I think the last I knew, he had 13 sold. Yeah, okay, which so is, yeah, which is above his better year right before 2008. And, and so they're, they're, at, they're, they're not $150,000 home. They started at 200. Yeah, one was yeah. for 269 I think. Yeah. You know, so they're, you know, they're very nice homes. So a couple they're of the reasons. Better than what? Than Holland, than Holland, than Holland, than Holland, than Holland. Yeah, another side. Yeah. 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 A couple of the ones that I have on Lakes, which went for $350. Yeah, the recent ones. Now, they may have financed everything, including the furniture. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> that they, they sold for $350. Yeah. 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 Oh, and the taco place. Yeah, we just talked about this and oh, that the developer pulled out. They were jokes. Yeah. This was the oh. old uh, Fitness USA site. Yeah. yeah. They were yeah. The financing issues. Yeah. Oh. So there's nothing there that, I mean. No, the, the building's gone, yeah. which is a plus. Well, yeah, it's it's listed yeah. for sale, yeah. I don't and expect it. We could probably get that. I'm sure that we can make, you know, I don't say angle, but get them to, to, to do that. Um, Bubba's 33 has been fully permitted now, and they should be breaking ground anytime. And where's that, where's that one? Next to our band. That's the other one that's been kind of in limbo for like, feels like three years. There was a retention pond issue, I think, with that one. Yeah, mountain too. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I just drove that area and actually called uh, Keith to send some people over there. And that area looks really bad. I mean, you got soft, it's falling down. Uh, I talked to the owner uh, of that development and, you know, what's going on, you got to get some movement there. And he says he's, he's challenged with everybody that wants to not inside. You know, so he's got a power One of the reasons is because your site works so bad. I mean, it's just, it's terrible. 
he was alive, he, he did like, uh, just coded it to never fix it. I mean, it's just, it's bad. And their response, I remember when he came, we told him that we worked with him on the movie theater. Is he doing anything with well, that? Well, I, that's what I, and I've called him, I've even talked to the mayor, I've, I've done that, called him like three times and saying, hey, we're receptive to do what, and he gave me some renderings, and they were really, Kind of impress, impressive, but I did say that you know we're not going to do anything unless you see major improvements to your right. you know, take that money and make that one good, you know, because uh, that's our only eyes. So, but and, and um, you know they'll be in top buildings. You see that being done that. So, oh, that's the team in top. Oh yeah, yeah. So that was another eyesore. He's got Xfinity. Xfinity is going in like T-Mobile and all that. They have a new concept. I would, I would, I would categorize it more like an Apple store and less like a yeah. T-Mobile store. Yeah, 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 you're probably right. Um, and then also a, a salon. But if you notice, like they cut out windows on the side of the salon, so like each bay, you know, salon has a has visibility a outside, so they don't feel like that. Yeah, yeah so, so it's a little bit more outside. And then the other one, I don't know if it went to PC or not, uh, or if it was administratively approved, but uh, the Chipotle is going into Payless Juice. They're closed. Okay, the yeah. End of this month. Yeah. Uh, next to uh, Ray and Craig's yeah. Prime Meats. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they're doing an outdoor patio, and it'll, it'll be a really nice Chipotle, but it's already teed up and, and approved and ready to go as soon as Payless closes up. Okay. And BJ Craig's Ground next Thursday. 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 And really, there's no sign. Doing real well, I don't see any signs of any slowdown. I don't know if it's a rumor, but is I think Wahlburgers is going to move across the street. Is that true or not? No, the okay. guy that uh, one of the partners in Wahlburgers was in negotiations to acquire that outlaw property from okay. Menards, okay. but George spoke to him last week, and I guess there's too many wetland issues, and they no. at this point. Uh, yeah, and I feel like if something came his way, he would broker a deal because yeah. it's still available. Mm -hmm.
is out there. So mostly we've been using the home grant for our down payment assistance program, which has been pretty popular. Uh, outside of Detroit, I think us from Westland are the, the ones who use this program the most. I think we had 20 uh, applicants last year that, that uh, were funded. So, uh, and then we're looking for new projects. Home is much more restricted than CDBG. So it is tough to find uh, viable projects for that grant. It's very narrow in scope. Is this a grant you have to apply for every year, or is it just so something that automatically comes? We're part of a consortium. We are funded through HUD, to Wayne County, and then there's five communities that are sub-recipients. So our allocation varies annually, but we did get about a $60,000 increase. I think we are at two fifty dollars last year. Is that correct? Uh, right around there. So. And as you can see, the history of the account I'm just looking at here, you know, some years we had a double allocation because we were awarded and, you know, we had to catch up carryovers and stuff like that. So you see some expenses here. And these expenses are 100% offset by grant revenue from the county. So uh, you'll see a revenue source to offset that.